the second sin we commit financially is when we begin to steal from people and stealing meaning when we take from some people what is not ours or we stealing is when we take what's not ours or not give what is someone else's this happens when sometimes people break into other people's houses or cars and they commit robbery this also happens on a lighter note when you go into the mall and you think that they have been too big and too successful and there's nothing wrong if you take shoes or a shirt with you and not pay for it shoplifting this also happens when we borrow money from someone and we do not return back to them this happens when somebody works for us and they do a one little poor job and we refuse to pay them completely and we find a loophole and we find a cunning way to keep the money and to keep their work this happens when employees go to work and begin to take stuff home and enrich their lives at the expense of their employer this happens when the citizens feel like the country is not serving God so it gives me the green light not to pay taxes all of these are different types and shapes of stealing and what stealing does is it opens the door to the devil and the devil after that has a legal right to destroy your life you can be on your way to heaven but if you are falling in love with money and you are stealing or doing things with money that hurt other people you have to understand God does not love you less the devil has control over your life already the first sin humanity committed was an act of robbery when God said this is forbidden and we said it's mine it wasn't money we stole it wasn't an iPad or a phone we took a fruit and ever since then it has been in our DNA and in our nature to take what is not ours and the last person Jesus forgave before he left the earth was a thief which means there is hope for all of us can somebody say amen when you have committed stealing or maybe you're committing that today downloading illegal things and so on and on if you want to prosper in your financial life you have to close the door to the devil you have to drop illegal things today you may not have gotten caught you have to drop it today and only then God will prosper your life when Jesus walked into the house of tax collector Zacchaeus and the presence of Jesus brought such a conviction that the scripture says Zacchaeus got up from the table and says I will give half of my income away and anybody I ever duped or ripped off I will come to them and not only apologize and says I'm sorry but I will give them four times more then I stole it from them on that day you would wish Zacchaeus would have stolen from you and it's interesting that Jesus sees that and Jesus doesn't say Zacchaeus wait you don't need to do that first of all Zacchaeus you don't need to give half of your income to the poor you're not under Old Testament I am Jesus I am embodiment of grace you don't need to do that and Zacchaeus you sure don't need to go back to those people I've forgiven you for your sins you just live your life you don't need to go back to them and give them anything and tell them anything this between me and you Jesus never said that we have a generation today that steals from people and think they think that sheep I am sorry God will fix everything between you and God but not between you and the devil cheap I'm sorry after we steal and rob and hurt people will fix everything between you and God God will forgive you of that sin but the devil will still have the right to attack your life until you deeply repent and until you do what you can in your power to make it right to the people you have hurt not for forgiveness of your sins but to close the door to the enemy and open the door for the blessings now sometimes you lost the contact with those people sometimes you don't you have so many that you might not even have the the power to to do to all of them it's important that you try your best we have our leaders and people who consistently come to our church I, I know particular young man who this year took a three to four day of fasting and during that fasting that's what he was focusing on God bring to my mind every person I ever stole from and ripped off and then he started to call these each one of these people and he said he said pastor Vlad I died million deaths calling them he said some of them were my relatives to call them saying you know that thing when that was missing that everybody was looking for and that was me 
and I'm sorry. I had one of our leaders, and most of you know this particular gentleman who actually went to the stores he stole from. And there was a new management, new system, but he didn't do it for them. He did it for himself. And he says, I came here to apologize. I've stolen a lot from your store 10 years ago. And here's a check. I just want to reimburse that. The management was shocked. Why? Because that's when God prepares a person for a blessing. When you see somebody doing that, watch their life. It's in a matter of short time and they begin to prosper. <laughs> 